It's Melissa and today I have another video for you and I love filming these types of videos it's actually gonna be my festival look number two I went to one this past weekend and I did this exact a look um, I don't know if you can see but I have a little gem I actually added it this time because I had more and I love this look I don't know if the camera is really picking it up but it's like a pink and purpley eyeshadow look obviously it looks like I have a lot of makeup up and I do I'm not gonna lie but my outfit was very simple I just had a black top and some high-waisted shorts so I definitely wanted to do something fun with my makeup so this is a look for you um, for a festival um, or any other occasion where your outfit might be a little bit more simple and you want to play around with colors and your makeup and everything like that and I'm sorry that was my phone I'm in a group chat you know how that goes I only did the face um, I didn't do um, outfits or hair or anything like that but if you guys do want to see videos on what you should wear to these things and festivals and um, raves and stuff like that I can definitely do that for you just leave me a comment down below telling me that's what you want to see um, but enough of my talking I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do make sure to leave me a comment down below and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do um, but anywho I'll talk to you guys right now bye guys so of course we're going to start it off with our primer and then over top I'm going to be applying the NYX Jello Pencil in Milk and this is basically just to make our color stand out even more. Next we're going to be adding a piece of tape to my outer edge just because I was going for a more defined look and this is really going to help with that. As for my transition shade, it's just a taupey color with a little bit of purple and orange undertone. Um, I didn't get to show it on the clip. But now for the fun part, I'm going to be using these two like fuchsia pinky purple colors. Um, I used them from a palette that I had a while ago called Ruby, but I'm not, they don't, I'm not sure what the names are, they didn't have any. But anyways, I'm going to be applying that all over the crease in a very light motion. Now we're going to go in with Half Baked and Amber Fire by NYX and dabbing that all over the lid. You want to dab just because it will make the colors look a little bit more pigmented and make the colors stand out a bit more. Now we're going to go in with color Hot Fudge and applying that to the crease. And this is going to make the look a little bit more defined, you know how to do. And of course blending that all over. And going back with that pink shade over top, just because we lost a little bit of the color when we were applying hot fudge. And then I forgot to show this color again, but I'm just using a black shade to my outer corner to make it even more defined. Honestly, blending for this look is key. I mean, it's always key, but like especially for this, because you want everything to look very airbrushed and very nice and put together. And now for the fun part, we're going to be adding glitter, of course. Obviously, it's kind of blurry, but you get the idea. And after we do that, we're going to be applying some falsies. And these ones are just from e.l.f. Pretty basic, pretty simple. And, of course, we have to top it off with the mascara to match our real ones with the fake ones. And now for my face routine. Honestly, I just set it up because if you guys do want to see a whole face slash contour routine, um, more in detail, I can definitely do that for you. So this is just like a little preview of what I will kind of do. And of course, I have to add some color to my lower lash line, and we're just going in with Pop Fudge again and smoking that out and making it a little bit more defined because we're all about that. And of course, adding some aligner to my waterline as well as my upper lash line. Now for the lips, we're going to go in with Rose by NYX. And the lipstick we're going to be using is Maybelline Make Me Pink or Make Me Pink. I'm not too sure, but you know the name. And now we're going to be adding some gems. I just picked these up at Michael's. And they already came with some adhesive, but I would recommend putting some eyelash glue on top of the adhesive 
adhesive, I can't even say it, just to make it stay even longer, just because with these things you sweat a lot and you want that extra protection, girl. And now we're just going to set it off with some setting spray, of course, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Fantastic. 